Bridget Blair is the founder and now CEO of Linden Leaves, a role that she manages to balance with a huge love and appreciation of her family at the office and at home. Hello! Hello! Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Great! Yes. From, one, uh, from one business, your home at work. Yeah, so sometimes I wonder where I spend more time. I think mainly at work. <laughs> Please come in. What a beautiful entrance to your home. Oh, thank you. It's been a good family home. We've been here for 30 years and it's evolved and yeah, we still enjoy being here. So here we still are. So did you build this home, Bridget? We did and we enjoyed it. It was a good project. Yeah, please have a seat. Thank, thank you. And 30 years, so it's been a real years. family home. It has been a family home, so the children were all little when we moved in and upstairs was a playroom for them and then eventually we moved upstairs and Chris moved upstairs and yeah, so it's sort of evolved as as they've grown and they've left and come back and left again. and <laughs> As families do. So tell us about your family. My husband's a dental surgeon and he, he has a practice in the city so he's been a great help to me in, in this business. And then we have three children who now have all, of course, grown up and left home and have their own lives and we have one grandchild it's very precious <laughs> and we have um, my parents are still alive so last weekend yeah I had a significant birthday so we had four generations at you it. can tell us so um, you can guess <laughs> <laughs> 21 <laughs> oh well, I wish <laughs> no, actually I don't wish no <laughs> the big 6-0 so and that was very special to have four generations here so yeah that's really to me that's very important and I have one brother who's also a dentist and um, and my sister who's actually in Australia at the moment so but we have lots of cousins my mother was one of seven so there's lots of cousins and then um, my children also have lots of cousins so we're quite a big family unit very noisy and but we do get together for for lots of occasions so yeah that's really nice Bridget also has a second family, the close-knit Linden Leaves team she passionately works with. Some of the staff have been with me from the beginning and then quite a lot have been long term and um, yeah they're really important to me, they're people I spend a lot of time with every day and uh, they're very supportive, they're very very loyal and very nice people to be with so I've seen their children be born and grow up as well and some of their children have left home and um, yeah so it's interesting. There is a serene tranquil culture that is nourished within the Linden Leaves factory that complements these beautiful products. I think that is part of our culture like our, our philosophy and our aim is to provide affordable luxury and it's made with a great deal of care and a great deal of love so while we're efficient in time in terms of getting production out, we're not frenetic. Well, actually my production manager might argue with that. Some days we're very frenetic getting orders packed, but everything is made with such care that to do that it has to be just you know a, a, a positive attitude in the building and a, speed isn't the answer. We're, we have a huge attention to detail and so we don't want to just slap something on or fill something or it's very very precise but that's sort of what sets us apart and it's our, our niche and a cornerstone for us that everything is made with care with attention I mean, it's not my passion to just make product it's to make something that's aesthetically pleasing and that if you're given as a gift you're going to feel is yeah, something special and I mean there's nothing wrong with making for the mass market and people do extremely well doing that but it's just not where we're pitched and it's not, not something that I could get passionate about so, yeah, so we choose yeah, the hard path in some ways but that also gives a lot of pleasure and satisfaction. How does Bridget escape from the responsibilities of her business? This uh, summer we went away on a yacht for nine days and that was probably the best because a lot of the time we were out of cell phone coverage and I didn't have a computer. I really enjoy swimming. I think my perfect holiday is always a beach holiday. I prefer the hot to the cold. And um, yeah, now we do part-owner yacht with the idea of working a little less and 
getting up to Auckland a little more. It, it didn't actually pan out last year, but maybe this year or, or the, you know, in the years to come. You had an accident, didn't you? I did. I actually broke my neck really severely on, on the yacht. First time on it, so just a complete freak accident. So I had a year of not doing a lot and three months in a, you know, quite a rigid neck brace, but it was just one of those things and, you know, there's always good that comes and it was a good time to sit in a chair for three months and figure out a few things and reflect on on a few things. At the end of the day, what makes this humble lady happy within her life? On a personal level, it's actually the quite simple things. I'm, I'm really happy taking a walk on the hills or sitting reading a book or obviously my family, I like them, so that's nice. But I, I don't really need a lot. I don't need... Um, you know a lot of things around me and I don't need to be entertained or need to go to amazing restaurants or things like that it's just um, yeah I think I'm quite a positive person anyway so I'm not I'm very seldom not happy